business. We are in a business which has got to cater to the people who want to watch uh, the sport. I mean, let us, you know, I think uh, I, I had absolutely no problem with it being at 10.30 in the morning. In fact, as a coach, actually it made the conditions quite even because a lot of times in the day-night games, dew becomes a huge factor. And a toss can become a big factor as we saw sometimes even in Australia. Uh, but at 10.30, that was not a factor. It was an even Stevens game for both players. So from a coaching perspective, in fact, I actually didn't mind the 10.30 game. Um, it, yes, in terms of facilities, you know, I think it's it's challenging. Cricket is it's not easy. Uh, it's not easy to get uh, cricketing facilities where they don't exist. Uh, in order to get that up and running, uh, it's, it's not easy to do that. But but again, I think, you know, that's, that's where, I, of course, you know, things may not be perfect every time. But if you want to grow the sport, if you... If you, want, if you recognize that, to truly make it a global game, to make it something that is recognized in not just the Commonwealth nations, but truly all over the world, then you've got to be at events like this, you've got to be at the Olympics, uh, and you've got to make the compromises that are required to be at events like this, even, um, even if it means playing in odd hours, and sometimes playing in, in conditions that might not uh, necessarily be perfect. I think women's cricket is, is already going forward. I, I don't really... I think it needs anything else. I think it's just it's just fantastic to have both men's and women's events now. Um, it's probably like like Jeff said. I think they've separated it in, at the ICC level, so men and the women don't play together. But again, at the Olympics, I think it will be fantastic to have you know both the men and the women's event uh, going on concurrently and at the same time as well. But just you know, I, I just think it's just incredible to see the so. Even when you talk to people at the grassroots level, I think for me, you know, when I look at back, back home in India and Bangalore and you're talking to coaches and you're talking to uh, people at academies, you know, one of the things that they constantly keep telling you is just the level of participation of young girls in cricket now. You know, every year at every academy you see the percentage of number of girls who enroll in the summer holidays is just growing exponentially, sometimes even more than the boys. You know, the number of girls taking up the sport. I think that's fantastic for um, that's fantastic for cricket. You know, I mean, you have half the population. You cannot exclude half the population. It's great that cricket is now, you know, obviously becoming a lot more inclusive. Uh, it's becoming more and more attractive for women, like Jeff said, to be able to pursue the sport to for, for a young girl and her parents to be able to see that this could potentially be a career. You know, cricket can potentially be a career. You wouldn't have said that even five, six years ago. But to be able to say that now, I think is phenomenal. It just encourage more and more girls to play the sport. As cricket, as cricketers and people who are involved in cricket, that's what we want to see. Right? We, we know we compete with a lot of other sports for talent. We compete with other sports for people to participate in our sport. And the more and more girls that we can get to play the sport, uh, the fantastic, uh, the better and better it is. So, yeah, I think it's just, it's just terrific that um, you know, the women's cricket is going, going forward. Uh, I, I, I just think, um, you know, I, I think Jeff just said that really well. I think, you know, for the dream for me would be to have a, a fantastic cricket tournament, you know, which uh, hopefully Indian women and women winning the gold, which would be nice. But, but, but more than that, I think, you know, um, I would wish for everyone here and, and so many Indian fans to be able to come there into Los Angeles and to support cricket and to show, I think to show the rest of the world how big a sport cricket is and how great a sport cricket is.